Hey there, everyone, and welcome to The Stanley Parable. Uh, I played the demo of this. I really enjoyed the game, and I recently came into a bit of money, and it was only, like, 15 bucks. So I decided to go ahead and pick up this game. And since, you know, spoilers, a uh, couple series ending, uh, I had to, you know, come up with something quick. It's like, hey, I just bought this game. I'm going to be playing it any anyways. Why not do a vidyas? Because videos are important. So let me begin the game. And the slow loading time, as always, because I am terrible at thinking things through. Let me take a drink while this loads. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is extremely cold. Game, can you load? Did you stop responding or something like the demo did? Hello? 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 I'm still using my older computer as the uh, mouse pad, so that's fun. Uh, okay. Can, can you go ahead and load up? Please, game. Oh, there it goes. Slowly but surely. Uh, my setup is so weird right now, by the way. I have an external keyboard and an external mouse for my laptop. Uh, my mouse is on my other laptop. And I have a keyboard in my lap. A uh, very ancient keyboard. And loading is done. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Well then, there's... And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Okay. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh. Well, now that the, the, the fancy narrator has stopped interrupting me, let's begin. Let's go. That was a very nice plot. Hello, lamp. 427. Nice enough. Pencil sharpener. Mouse is going to be very weird here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What Stanley it decided mean? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ooh. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, by the way, I've already gotten one achievement in the game because, uh... Uh, I turned on achievements, and apparently that's achievement worthy. Hello, windowed into very brightness. We must live in like California or something where the sun exists. Oh, there, there's door 420. I have to get in there. I have to get in there. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it no. didn't make a single no, difference. No, just room 420. Nor did it, it advance the story in any way. We know what's going on in there. We know. I know at least. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Am I moving, like, extremely fast to anyone else? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now, the thing is, uh, each, e each video I'm going to do here, it's going to have uh, different endings of the game. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to listen to the man, and then we can be rebellious. Okay, does that sound all right to you people? Oh, hello. What happened? Yet there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling oh. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, that's what happened. My keyboard disconnected. Good job, keyboard. Uh, time to switch. No? Yes? Okay, does my keyboard work now? Sorry about that. Okay, there. It disconnects, and I don't know why. Oh, everyone is unique. You most of all. Any more slides? Uh, the number of slides. Charts, slides. Charts and slides. Ooh, I like that. What's going on here? Oh, what? The rate of... <laughs> okay. Uh, what is hot? Profits, profits. Profits. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things. But with money to buy more things? Crafts? Graphs above things and money. Or about things and money. <laughs> okay then, that's interesting. To do. S what? Cor cor oh, core value. I thought that said corn value. It's like what? Monetize free to play. Okay. Guess I'm going off elsewhere. Ooh, the broom closet. Well, that's exciting. I don't want in there right now though. That that's for later. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Whatever you say, Mr. Man, sir. Oh, hello. This is my boss's office, I guess. Hello, boss. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I'm stunned. Shocked. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What dark secret? What he secret could not have known held. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. It does. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Ooh. Two eight four five. Two, but of course, eight, Stanley couldn't possibly four, have known this. Five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened Hello, to friend. input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What's over here? Ice and darkness. Okay, what's what's this? Ooh. Going down. My keyboard unplugged again. I've lost all control of myself. Come on. Don't don't be like this keyboard. I don't know what's with it. It's just this keyboard. Let me go ahead and use the other one even though I have to stretch weird. Okay, what's happening? I'm going to try to get this fixed next episode. Oh no, more loading time. Maybe I can get my keyboard to work by then. No. Okay. Should be working now. Made the little good beepity beep, so I'm gonna trust it. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I feel it a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, yes. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question Thinking. the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When Why do I feel this now? It had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ooh. What's this? Hello? What do I do now? I'm here. Tell me what to do, giant voice man. Sky voice, I need to know. Do I press the button? I press the, the button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? What Stanley horrible thought secret to himself. does this hold? Did he have I the strength so. to find out? Okay. What? 
What do I do now? Hello? Oh, maybe I press this button. Now the monitors oh. jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Where Each bore the number of Where an employee in the building. Stand what's co-workers. happening in there? I can't see. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Ooh, another button. I like buttons. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Have I? Was this the only reason he was happy That's with his funny. boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Wow. Deep. No. He refused I to believe refuse. it. He couldn't accept it. I can't His accept own it. life in someone else's control? Someone else's Never. control? It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had Was he truly possible? spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. Oh, all of it monitored and commanded from two. this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. I guess that's what I'm doing. I, I, I like how uh, he just had to make his way into the video though, you know. I, I had one on Steam and it's like, oh yeah, well. Now he can't it. Turn it off. Hello? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Is the world outside just an MMO? That's what it looks like. It looks very MMO. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, I beat the game. Well, that was quick. End is never the end. Is never the end. What? I'm scared. What's happening? I'm back. Well, that was an ending. I am pretty sure of it. But this game does get confusing with what's an ending and what isn't. But I think that's the ending. Kind of ish. Let me go ahead and walk out and see if anything changes. All of his co-workers were gone. No, it's all the what same. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go. Okay, so that's gonna be the end of this one. Um, I will continue on later. 
uh, if there's any like endings that you can think of that are really good, uh, go ahead and like suggest them. Probably the next one, I'm going to go go against everything he says and just see how it ends for me. Because I mean, that was a pretty nice ending, you know, nice and peaceful. We made it into the planet of the MMO. Yeah. So yeah, good. Yes. Uh. So yeah, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have, smash your face directly in the like button because that is the most attractive way to do so. And I am leaving. Yeah.